don't know what you are doing in the bathroom, but who knows. Uh, welcome back to vlogs that I do every once in a while because I do multiple things on this channel and who knows what I'll do next. Maybe I'll come up with something awesome and you guys will be like, oh my gosh, she's the best ever. Uh, anyway, uh, I found out, well, if you saw in my kamikaze vlogs, there was a girl who, who vlogged us there of me and Acacia saying hi, and I'm going to show you that clip right now because it looks really awesome. And there we were! And, uh, our name is Anita Stargazer. Thank you so much for vlogging us, for us saying hi. It was awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That clip you just saw was posted on Twitter. I don't think it was yesterday, but I know I found it yesterday because someone that I follow tweeted, retweeted it. So as you saw there, it was very bad the way I was recording it because you can see my shadow in the background, but I just wanted you to see the majority of it. Well, some people are, so I'm gonna read some of the comments here. Uh, Chica the dog says, I was cringing through the whole video. They were just trying to have dinner and they could have waited. And then Jolly Beck said, what the hell? The parents are encouraging this. And then... And then Jackie D. Pago says, I don't even watch 10 seconds of it and I already feel uncomfortable. This is very disrespectful. I would have to agree on that. The reason being is that, I mean, I understand they're kids, so they don't understand but when you meet a youtuber and they're eating you have to show at least some respect i mean they're youtubers and they have lives too and they need they need to have some of their space also i mean i mean i'm sure if you meet them out in the street it'll be fine but if they're eating their dinner then it's gonna kind of seem awkward in some ways and i kind of feel bad i i feel pretty bad for mark and i understand the kids don't understand but i wish the parents knew better could have if I, I mean if i was if if it was me i probably would have said hi mark and then walked away and then maybe later on if i meet him say hi again or something but i wouldn't bother them in something that they're doing because that's just disrespectful. I mean, they're human too. They gotta eat too. I'm now combing the hair. I have to be very careful because right here, or right around here, um, I went to my biological mom's house and her dog jumped on me and bit me on the head. So I had two staples inside my head, which I got out, I, I was, uh, got taken out yesterday. And, but I still have to be careful with it because it's still healing, so. It's not hurting anymore or anything, so that's pretty good. I still just gotta be careful because I don't want to irritate it and make it bleed or anything just in case. But in the meantime, it has to be brushed at least. Because my hair has to be brushed. I'm probably going to grow my hair out just a little bit to go back to looking like Mowgli's haircut from the Jungle Book. Because it's going to be winter time and I need to grow it to grow out a tiny bit at least to look like the haircut from Mowgli from the Jungle Book. Because sometimes my hair turns to be like that. In case you guys are wondering what I had in my 
I had this in the back of my Freddy Fazbear costume, aka my Mad Pack costume. It says why this is a crime scene and you're the victims. And then I'm your employer, Nate. I go by many names. Phone Guy, Mad Pat, and Scott Cawthorn. Yeah, those are the lines that Mad Pat says in the Finance of Freddy's musical. So I wrote that on the back so that way some people would be able to know what character I am. And if they don't, then that's okay. Um, actually, uh... AJ, the guy who played Purple Guy from Random, he's from Random Encounters. He actually took a picture of my sign, which is really awesome. Uh, yeah, some people actually like my sign and everything, so that's pretty cool. Well, this is it for uh, me now. Um, I will see you guys, I guess, later in the next vlogs or videos or whatever. Remember that I love you forever and always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!